If you work a lot with different languages, you might find extremely useful uh, the, an on-screen keyboard. So how to enable it and use it in Windows 7? It's very easy, just click Start button, choose All Programs, go to Accessories, click Ease of Access, and then choose on-screen keyboard. It's a default feature that gets installed with Windows 7. So, assuming that you already have a number of keyboard layouts installed, and if you're not, you can watch my other video that shows how to install different keyboard languages. Uh, you see the keyboard and you can switch between those languages using the language bar up here. If you just click over here, I have two languages, English and Russian as an example. So what you can do now is you can bring up the notepad, the standard notepad window over here. And using the on-screen keyboard, make sure that uh, your cursor is active and the window, notepad window is also active. You can still work with the on-screen keyboard even if this on-screen keyboard window isn't active at the moment. So this is actually how it works. Let's type hello world. And click enter. So as you see you can type with no keyboard on your desk. This is especially convenient when you have to select any other languages perhaps that perhaps you're learning or you have to do some quick translation using uh, Google Translate or typing in some characters that you don't regularly type. As you can see, as I type, all of the characters appear over here in another window in Notepad. And whenever you add another window, let's say you, you, you're going to bring in another Notepad window, just select this Notepad window. And as long as it stays active, you can type on in this one. You can also notice that there's an option button and if you click the options button it brings up the options for the keyboard for the on-screen virtual keyboard over here where you can configure the, to use the click sound to turn on the memory keypad or different options on how to type sometimes you just wanna hover the mouse over the letter you don't wanna click it so this is the modified version of the on-screen keyboard that you have here. Apart from the on-screen keyboard, what you might find useful, especially if you constantly work with uh, different uh, languages or uh, text, you might want to use uh, a couple of layouts on your physical keyboard and for that I would recommend a site that I'm using myself uh, where you can get uh, physical keyboard stickers with the language so if you go to www.latkey.com you can actually order the keyboard layouts for uh, quite a number of different languages so if you go to Russian and click Russian here you will see different colors of Russian letters uh, that you can put into your keyboard over here you can even see the golden stickers for a Russian or a silver for silver laptops or even glow the ones that glow in the dark um, so if you want to get one just click buy now enter your address click order now and it will be with you in a couple of days. And finally, what I would recommend is if you uh, use a lot of languages, it might be useful for you to have your language bar detached from the uh, 
mainstream because some languages like Chinese will have a huge long list of different buttons on the language bar so you'll be able to see extra options like checking the keyboard layouts uh, checking the languages and selecting language options right on the language bar so to attach it back you just click the minimize button over here and it will go to the normal uh, task bar